please. Hi, my name is Linda, and um, I want to just commend you for even doing the work. You know, we we as a society tend to exclude our houseless, um, separate from us. Their causes are different, which they are not. Um, I'm coming from a different perspective. Uh, I'm on the fence with the terminal one. I look at my four-year-old grandson when we walk around the city. I live in the Pearl. I was blessed to be able to live there. I do live on affordable housing in the Pearl. So um, my grandson and I have experienced houselessness in our neighborhood right underneath the Broadway Bridge. Uh, he asked me, Yaya, so he called me, um, why are there people sleeping in tents by the train station? And I said, well, because they just haven't been able to get a house. Oh, like me, Yaya? Yeah, like you. My grandson's four <laughs> and the other one's 10 months. And they're both experiencing houselessness. Not due because their mother and father don't work. Not due because of domestic violence or drug and alcohol abuse. But due to systemic oppression of all of us. We're, you guys might be close, less close than I to being houseless. One paycheck away sometimes, but I have help. I want other people to have help too. I've done work with Sisters of the Road, being a community ambassador. So I know a lot of the houseless community personally. I see it personally on a day to day from my window, where I walk, where I play. They're us, they're you, they're me. The solution isn't gonna come fast enough to give my grandsons yards to play in and space to push their toys. Um, I, I just want to say continue to delve into solution. I know there's a lot of zombie houses where I've also just said, you know what? I'm desperate for my grandsons to have a yard to play in. There are empty homes that you have charge over fix the problem is what we're asking find the solution and continue to help continue to delve in thank you thank you very much Next three.